Hey everybody, it's Kate, the West Coast Paper Crafter from East Souk, Vancouver Island, Canada. It is July 15th, Monday evening at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time. If you are tuning in with me tonight, I am going to show you a pretty fun project creating a focal point just by using a die shape. So let's get started and I'll flip the camera around. All right, I'm just going to adjust so you can see my workstation and I've got my cut and emboss machine up because we need to do a little bit of die cutting for this project. So I'm just going to bring up my laptop so I can make sure you can see what I'm doing and that I can see any comments. Hey Karen, thanks for tuning in. All right, so to create tonight's project, I've got a card base with Knight of Navy, and this is just five and a half by eight and a half, and I have scored it at four and a quarter on the eight and a half inch side. I've got a piece of Lost Lagoon. This is four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and a piece of Basic Beige, five and a quarter by four, that will be for the inside. And I have cut out a piece of basic white using a circle die. This is from the Stylish, stylish Shapes die set. Um, but if you don't have that, any shape die will do the trick. This circle is three inches in diameter. But again, if you don't have it, use any die shape that you have. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out a circle from the Lost Lagoon. And I'm gonna put the circle die in the middle, but closer to the top of my cardstock because I want a little bit of space on the bottom where I'm gonna add some ribbon. So we'll just whip this through the cut and emboss machine. It's probably gonna shake the camera, so sorry about that. These cut and emboss machines are beasts. They just, all right. Now, let me get this out of the way and we do not need that anymore. Okay, so we've got our piece of cardstock with a circle cut out of the middle. And what I'm gonna do is stamp a little bit of texture on the front of this cardstock in the same shade of ink as cardstock. So I'm just gonna stamp some texture in Lost Lagoon, just random pattern. It doesn't really matter where. And the stamps I'm gonna use for this project are, let me see, where did I put them? I'm gonna use Beauty of the Deep. But I've made a couple different projects with this style, so I'll show you those when this is done. All right, I think that's good. Maybe one more, right there. Okay. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of ribbon to the bottom part of this cardstock, and then we're just gonna stick it on our card base using some dimensionals. So I like to use tear and tape to add ribbon to the back of my cardstock. Just like so, I'll fold that over. And then I just make sure it's straight. And then I'll add a little bit more tape. I need a bit more, that was kind of skinny. A little too short. Let's add a bit more. All right, make sure that's still straight. And just so my ribbon doesn't come apart, I'm going to add one more piece to that side. And then I'm going to cover the back of this layer with dimensionals. Hey Shannon, thanks for, thanks for tuning in from Southern California. What is your weather like down south? On the southern part of the island in Canada, it was pretty toasty today, a little hot. 
All right, I think I have enough, but I do like a lot of dimensional, so I'll just add a little bit more. And I should have mentioned that when I cut out my die cuts, when I'm doing this type of a card, I like to make sure that I'm gonna have enough space for dimensional, so I wanna make sure that the shape die that I used isn't too close to one edge of the card. I just wanna make sure I can get a dimensional in there. So you can use stamp of dimensionals, but if you want a little bit more height with this type of card, then um, adhesive strips are a little bit what are thicker than dimensionals. Oh no, <laughs> I just stuck it to my glass mat. Oh goodness. Anyway, the adhesive strips are a little bit thicker than dimensionals are, and they will give you a little bit more height. Okay, that's funny. I put all those dimensionals on. I dropped my card front, and it stuck to my glass mat. <laughs> all right, crisis averted. I think I can salvage these. Well, maybe not, but I've got more dimensionals. The glass mat is pretty handy for cleanup, so I'll be able to just clean that off later, but I won't do it right now. All right, now I'm going to make sure I don't drop that. Hey, Janice, thanks for tuning in. And let's try this again. Okay, so I'm going to take the front of my card base. I'm just going to rub these sticky dimensionals off so I don't stick my card to that. And then I'm going to add this to the very front of my card. So if I was using adhesive strips, I'd have a little bit more height, but dimensionals work just as well. Okay, so I've got that down and I'm gonna add a little bit of twine to my basic beige ribbon, just in the corner here. And I'll tie a little bow. Perfect, okay. So that's good. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to do some stamping on the basic white circle. And when we're done with that, we're gonna just glue that right into the middle and this will be the focal point of our card. So tonight for this particular card, I am using Beauty of the Deep, but I did make some samples with a couple other stamp sets that turned out really pretty. So I'll definitely show you guys. So I'm just gonna stamp the seaweed in Lost Lagoon. And this is a really big stamp, so I don't need all of it. I'll get that out of the way. Then I'm gonna do a little bit more seaweed in mossy metal. Uh, I need a rag. I've got some ink here. There we go. All right, so I've got mossy metal for darker seaweed that I'm just gonna layer on top of the Lost Lagoon. And I'm gonna leave a space to stamp my sentiment as well. All right, so that's looking good. And now what I'm gonna do is stamp a sentiment in Night of Navy. And I'm using the uh, Beauty of the Deep doesn't have any sentiments with this stamp set. So I'm going to use one of the sentiments from Unbounded Love, which happens to be all sentiments, so it's perfect. And I'll use Night of Navy because it's gonna match my card base and it's dark enough that it's going to stand out. So I'm just gonna stamp that in the corner where there's still a little bit of white. And then what I wanna do, because this is going to be like an underwater theme, what I wanna do is just get rid of all that white just with some soft Lost Lagoon blending just because I don't want it to be um, also so white. I'm just gonna lightly blend over with the Lost Lagoon and put a little bit of color into that background. I better get my mossy meadow closed up, otherwise I'm gonna get ink everywhere. 
so this stamp set, I've had it for a while, but it's just been sitting on my shelf a little bit unlooked. So today I decided it needed to come out. I had gone to Botanical Beach with my family on the weekend, and if you are from Vancouver Island, you probably know what I'm talking about, but it's not too far from where I live, about two, maybe a two hour drive, just it's not far kilometer wise, but it's really twisty and turny and it takes a while to get there just because you can't drive very fast, but it was really busy and the tide pools were full of purple sea urchins. And not much else actually. We've been out there before where the tide pools have been full of spider crabs and starfish and hermit crabs and crabs of all sizes, but this time I'm not sure maybe if the weather is getting too hot or what's happening, but it was mostly purple sea urchins, which I think are beautiful. Hey Jan, thanks for tuning in. Sorry guys, I've been focused on my blending and I'm missing comments. Cindy, thanks for tuning in. And thank you for sharing my video. I really appreciate that. All right, so I've done enough blending. And now, all I'm gonna do is glue this piece right into the middle to create my focal point. And I have gone ahead and stamped a few other pieces to decorate the front of this card. So if I had have used the adhesive sheets, then this, this would have stood up just a little bit more and would have been more obvious for framing around our focal point, but once we add everything, it looks very nice. Okay, where are my goodies? So I've gone ahead and I stamped the anchor from the Beauty of the Deep set and one of the little fish. These are starfish from Seaside Wishes. I'm not sure if I'll use them. And then these adorable little purple sea urchins. They're just the cutest. They're just, they're so cute. There were so many of them at Botanical Beach. It was crazy. All right, I need my mini dimensionals for this job. So I think what I'm gonna do, oops. I'm going to pop everything up just to give things a little bit more dimension. So these little sea urchins are so tiny, they just need one mini dimensional. Oh, yeah, they're pretty because they're purple. Exactly, Karen, exactly. All right, so I'm gonna put those there and the anchor off to the left. So if you don't have many dimensionals, it's easy enough to just snip a full size dimensional. But I've got both, so I will use both. Now I'm only putting dimensionals on uh, actually the wrong side of my anchor. Whoops. I only want to put dimensionals on the right side, but I need to make sure it's on <laughs> the right side, if you know what I'm saying. So I want to put dimensionals on the right side of the anchor. And then I'm going to put glue on the left side because the left side is going to stick to the card front and the right side is going to stick right onto my little white scene, my seaside scene, seaside, underwater scene. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so adding a bit of glue. I don't need much, I just want that to stick down onto the card front and make sure my backings are off. All right, just like so. And now I'm gonna add in a fish down there and maybe, maybe some starfish. I don't know, what do you guys think? Starfish, yes or no? Think about it while I add my fish. Yeah, Botanical Beach is amazing, Jan, but I have been there when 
the tide pools have been a lot busier. So I don't know if it's the time of the year or what. I'll have to research it. All right, we did see one, one ginormous starfish that was hiding under a rock and it was regrowing one of its arms. It was kind of neat to see that, it was big. I don't think I've ever seen one that big. It must have been ancient, an ancient starfish. Okay. All right, Karen says, yes, I'm going with it. We will add the starfish. All right, I'm just gonna put tiny little drops of glue on here if I can without making a mess. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna tuck, I'm gonna try to tuck that in. Almost perfect, there we go. And then I think the other one I'm gonna pop up. A mini dimensional should fit right in the middle of this starfish. Okay, the front is done, except maybe a bit of bling. I think I need a bit of bling. One there. I like to do them in threes. Sometimes five, but then I feel like I've over blinged. Is that such a thing? Can you over bling? Right, Karen, always bling. But do we bling moderately or do we go crazy? Okay, perfect. Let's get that out of the way. And then the last thing I want to do is add in my inside piece because Knight of Navy is just way too dark to write on. And I think I will stamp some adorable little sea urchins right in the corner. Yeah, there. this is a cute stamp set. All right, good enough. Now for some glue. And then tonight's project is done. So if you guys try this, show me what you make. I love seeing what you guys come up with. All right. And if you don't have a circle die, use any shape, any shape you got. In fact, it would look good with the rectangle. I should try it with the rectangle. All right, inside is done. Here is the outside. I might trim my little tassels, my little ribbon, ribbon, what am I trying to say? I might trim the twine later. I haven't decided, but I like all these colors. It definitely reminds me of tide pools. So I love it. I hope you guys too. Thanks, Marianne. And here is the first sample I made with this design. This is the Thoughtful Wishes. And this is the, oh my goodness, it's the designer series paper that comes with the set. I think it's called Thoughtful Journeys, but I could be wrong. I could reach for it, but then I'd have to dig around in my stuff. But this, I just cut a circle out of the DSP and when I stamped this thistle, I colored it in with petunia pop and mossy meadow, and then I just blended in some peach pie in the back to make that kind of match better with the designer series paper. So that was the first one I made. And then for Janice, if you're still watching Janice, I made this one for you with the Under the Moon stamp set using the two little dolphins. And I added a little bit of peach pie to the moon just for a bit of a glow. And I blended in a bit of peach pie in the background as well. And then just some of the sand dollars from the Seaside Wishes, um, the hybrid boulder. So I thought that turned out pretty nice. And then I was playing around, I wasn't sure 
if I was gonna use Beauty of the Deep or Under the Moon, but you'll have to just tell me what you think. But I almost thought that the sailboat and the dolphins are a little bit much, so I decided to go with Beauty of the Deep. So these are the three cards. I hope you guys like them. I think that's all I have for you. Um, at the end of the month, I think it's the, I can't remember what date it is. It's the last Sunday of the month. I'll be doing my free online happiest day class. I am almost done designing all the projects. So if you've joined the Facebook event, you'll see the supply list and the measurements by the weekend. So you can prep your pieces and craft along. That will be 10 a.m. the last Sunday of the month. Um, if you have ordered from me this month, you're probably gonna get the card kits sent out to you in the mail and it's not too late. So if you want in on some card kits for the happiest day class, then um, it's not too late to put in an order and I will ship you off the kits for that as well. So I'm gonna flip my camera around and say good night. Thanks everybody for tuning in live. If you catch me on a replay, thanks for watching. Say hello, tell me where you're from. And again, if you make these cards, let me see what you make. I just love, love seeing what everybody comes up with. So thanks for tuning in and I will catch everybody next Monday. Have a great night.